Greetings, this is a quick demonstration of the new Extent Selection tool for NSF 2.2. Um, this is just the, uh, the first working version, so it might change a little bit um, by the time you see it in the final release. Um, but the idea is now, um, when you want to do an analysis, that you can actually go and drag an area for your analysis, rather than just doing it for the whole data set. Um, and you could also do it um, by punching in um, exact coordinates. So you can come here, for example, and change these coordinates like this, and um, maybe like this, and just interactively change, uh, set it to your preferred um, analysis area. Um, so once you've done that, what will happen is that the analysis um, will be constrained to this area plus the intersection um, of that area but with the hazard and exposure layers. So let's have a look and see how that works. So now you can see the green is showing you um, where the next analysis will be carried out. Um, the red is where the last one was. And if I had set the analysis extent to outside of my data set, actually see a blue box as well like this so now the blue box you see is where I'm asking it to do the analysis the green is where it actually can do the analysis based on the intersections and the red is the, um, the extent of the last analysis so let's run it and see what happens um, so now the red has been updated and is coincident with this line so that's why it looks like a slightly greeny brown color um, and uh, you'll see that it did the analysis only for the um, area where we actually had um, the two data sets coincident. And what's quite nice is that you can now start um, to do things like um, um, just set a small area like this, just choose a small area, run it, and while you're developing your scenarios um, uh, you can sort of um, pan and zoom around on the data set, highlight an area, I think I just found a small bug while I've been demonstrating now, but that's okay. So let's just highlight this area here. Okay, and then uh, run it. And then it will run just on that area that you've selected. So if you want to go and see specifically how many people are affected in this area, you can just go and highlight it. Uh, you can just go highlight it like this. And then say run and you can see um, that these, this number of people were affected in this area. Well, that's what I've got to show you today. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.